The decision to align East and West Middle School's schedules last spring is in full swing as part of the new school year. However, the new schedule is causing mass confusion for students and even teachers. You get confused about what time you get out of class and when, it class, when class starts, it's just complicated. I kind of mix feelings about it. I'm, I don't really like it just because it makes classes feel longer on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, it's not my favorite because it's confusing every day, so you have to get used to both of them, and you'll never know when class is ending. In a survey conducted by the DMC, 75% of students say they did not like the schedule change, with only 25% of students actually enjoying it. EMS staff responses say 67% of teachers are not liking the change, and only 33% of staff enjoyed it. So for me, it's been pretty confusing. Um, I teach three different classes, so for me, it's, you know, I'm already transitioning to a lot of other things in my day, and then the time change each day and remembering um, you know, what time we're getting out and things like that. I'm um, not going to lie, that probably was something I wasn't that great at to begin with, you know, but it, I'm really noticing it's really confusing for students as well. So, um, so we're just getting out late or scrambling a lot, um, trying to remember what we're doing. I love that on Tuesdays and Thursdays we have a longer class period so we can get more deeply into discussions and um, do our work in class. So there shouldn't be homework on those two days because our class period is about nine minutes longer. So what would have been done outside of class in those nine minutes should happen in the room. So it should help uh, free students up in the evenings on Tuesdays and Thursdays because they've done what they need to in class that day. With advisory being only on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, this has caused lots of students to miss out on several opportunities. Last year, students were able to participate in alternate day advisories, giving them more participation in school activities. Um, not having advisory every single day makes it pretty hard because I want to be in jazz band and chamber choir and in DMC and there is no possible way to do like all of those things. You can only do one of them. Um, digital media and the yearbook really needs that use of advisory. Um, so for me personally, it's not great, but also what I'm hearing from students is just that they're missing that time that they need um, to get the things done that they need to do. Having advisory every other day is helping prepare eighth grade students for the high school. You have to learn how to use your class time wisely um, because that 30 minutes of just work time does not exist in the high school setting. So I think it helps uh, our eighth graders especially make that transition. And if you could change anything. This has been Emma and Taylor reporting for Trojan TV.